Hey y'all, welcome back to All the Power Ministries, a ministry that is dedicated to equipping disciples to grow in greater intimacy with Abba, to be activated into your authority and launched into your power and purpose. You have a kingdom assignment and we are here to equip you to step into it so that you can prepare the way for the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I love you so much. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Nina Lauren and I am here with a very awesome but quick word for today. And if you are, what's in my, okay. Ew. <laughs> if you are returning, then welcome back. We appreciate each of you so, so much. And I'm excited for today's word. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. So for, if you're new here, and you don't know me then this is gonna be new to you but if you're not new here then you know i'm sorry you guys i just got bangs in there driving me nuts i don't know what's going on with them <laughs> but um you know that every single month i ask the lord i'm like what's the word for the month what is it lord and so of course he gave me a word for the month of december and so that is what i'm here to share with you i was laughing when he told me because i'm like Usually it is an alliteration, basically meaning like, okay, um, November was new life, October was awesome October. So it has some type of like either it so starts with the same letter or it kind of like flows. But this one was just totally random. I had to ask him to confirm it several times, um, but he confirmed it. And I'm super excited to share the word. And so it's actually two different words. I'm going to share with you what the words are and then their actual dictionary meaning and then kind of what the Lord has showed me regarding these words. Okay, so the words that the Lord gave me, well, the first word that the Lord gave me for the month of December is the word fulfillment. Ah, I was like, what? Can you confirm that, Lord? Are you? Uh, is it time? And oh my gosh, you guys, I have been getting nonstop messages about it's time, it's here, it's now, like this is it, it's happening like in this month, um, the last final few weeks of the year, like it's going down. And so I just want to encourage you to expect miracles, expect fulfillment okay expect the fulfillment of the things that god has spoken to you concerning this year concerning your life concerning your marriage your home your ministry your finances your health every area of your life expect that fulfillment okay and so um i believe it's going to be the beginning of a series of fulfillments okay it's starting this month but it's gonna it's gonna be like you know how you know how once you just like crack that seal, then it just like all comes out. So I believe it's the the very beginning of the Lord beginning to just uh, Amos 9 back to back to back fulfillment of promises in our life, right? Um, so the actual dictionary definition of the word fulfillment means the achievement of something desired, promised, or predicted. How crazy is that? I'm going to read it again. The achievement of something desired, promised, or or predicted. I literally think that that is so crazy that that is the dictionary definition because one, these are things that you desire. Why? Because God gives you these desires, right? It's also been promised. Why? Because his word promises it to us. It's our inheritance for you to step in to the book of your destiny and your greatness and your abundance and all the things, right? Um, it's also like it's promised because you have to be launched into your kingdom assignment. So if the Lord has promised you to establish you in land or a home or at a new job or whatever it is, just know like that has to come to pass because you have to be launched into your kingdom assignment for the work of the Lord, right? Um, and then the last one is predicted. It's predicted because the Lord gave us a word for you to stand on. So I just love that so, so much. Okay, the second word that the Lord gave me is the word fruition. And I've used this word... I use it all the time to be completely honest but I was like I'm not sure if I know a hundred percent what this word means and what the difference between fulfillment and fruition is and so of course I went and I looked it up in the dictionary and the word fruition means the point a plan is realized slash a state or action of producing fruit I love this so much because there's gonna be fulfillment 
and there's also going to be fruition you may experience both you may experience one or the other and so fruition is the point when a plan is realized and so this is going to be for some of you you may not experience the fulfillment of a promise this month but you're going to realize the plans and purposes that god has had for you in these seasons maybe you've been in your wilderness season you're going to come to the realization of what god's plan is or what the purpose for that pain or whatever it is was and so i love that let's not discount um fruition it's just as powerful as fulfillment right um you know how you have those experiences where you're going through something you're like why am i going through this and then years later you can look back and see oh i can see what god was doing many of us are going to have those all uh, moments those oh the the fruition come to fruition and the knowledge of what god is doing okay and so I love that. And then it also says the Seder action of producing fruit. And so I believe when we're in that state of fruition, of understanding, of realizing God's purpose and plan, then we are into alignment with God. We're no longer like complaining, like, why God? We're like, oh, I see. And then we can step into alignment with the spirit of God. And then that puts us in a state where we are bearing fruit, where we are producing fruit. And so I absolutely love that fulfillment and fruition. So so for some of you, God's just going to do it. And for some of you, God is going to put you into alignment for you to begin to produce. And for some of you, it's going to be both. And so I'm super excited. Always make sure to take every prophetic work back to the Holy Spirit. Make sure to test and approve the Spirit. Test and approve the Word, okay? And so if this Word is for you, definitely ask the Holy Spirit. And if it is, if the Holy Spirit confirms that this is your Word, then ask the Holy Spirit how you are to apply this Word, what it means for you, and what it looks like in your life. And so um, I pray that this bless you. I just want to pray over you really quickly. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, I just pray right now over the person under the sound of my voice that this month, Father, would be the month of fulfillment and fruition in their life. If you said it, if you spoke it, if your word says it, then we can put our hope and our trust in it. And I decree and declare over them that it will come to pass in their life this month in the name of Jesus. And it will be the very beginning of the Amos 9 blessing after blessing breakthrough after breakthrough i thank you that they are entering into their season of winning that this is going to be their december to remember and i thank you lord for miracles i thank you lord for breakthrough i thank you lord for stepping into the promised land i thank you father for stepping into their inheritance for crossing over in the mighty name of jesus lord let nothing hinder what you are going to do nothing can hinder so i just pray divine acceleration and break every day delay hindrance and setback in the name of jesus amen amen you guys i love you so 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 much thank you so much for walking watching this video if you come into agreement with this video i want you to get in the comments and type this month i will see fulfillment and fruition this month i will see fulfillment and fruition in jesus mighty name let it be so and so also make sure to share this video with someone who would be blessed by it whoever the holy spirit puts on your heart to share it with make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when a video drops on our channel we try to drop videos almost every day we're pretty pretty good on it um but i love you all so much i pray that this was a blessing to you and also if you want to come over and join me in my monthly mentorship community the link can be found in the description if you would like to sow a seed into the ministry and be a blessing all of the information can be found in the description below and i love you all so much i'll see you on the next one bye